plan. I'll find you. According to the provisions of City Code 53452, Section 12, my client is guilty of no wrongdoing, and furthermore, we respectfully request that our motion be granted without restrictions. He's guilty, I'm telling you! They're all dead because of him! Another outburst, and I'll be forced to have you escorted from the court, Mrs. Lenhart. Do you understand? Please continue, Counselor. While I genuinely sympathize with Mrs. Lenhart's loss, there is clearly no proven culpability on the part of my client. Let's look at the facts. First, there are no witnesses placing Mr. Sackmar on Mrs. Lenhart's property. And equally important, he had no motive. So to find him guilty... To find him guilty would be a travesty of American justice. A blasphemy of all the laws that we have worked so hard to uphold. My God, this country was, found, was founded on the principles of life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. And to shun those ethics now would be to condemn the very ground upon which we are building the future. The underpinnings of which are rooted deep within our forefathers and extend... Please approach the bench, Counselor. Unless I'm missing something, this is about a retaining wall extension and a trample rose garden, not an axe murder. You think you can wrap it up? Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> In closing, I ask not that you withhold any sympathy for Mrs. Lenhart's loss of bloom, as it were, but rather that you allow Mr. Melvin Sackmar, a decent, God-fearing, tax-paying American citizen, to follow his dream and build a better tomorrow. A tomorrow where boundaries between good neighbors are merely those of the mind. And the seeds of friendship can be planted for generations to come. Thank you. Mr. Simon's closing argument notwithstanding, the court finds insufficient evidence to hold Melvin Sackmeyer responsible for the charges presented and is therefore granting his motion. Is that all? Do something! Hey, listen, call the what next What the heck case. got into you? I think I'll build that second story now. <laughs> well, good, good, good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're happy. Next case, Stone versus... You're not handling my appeal, and I'm going to appeal. Did you see what happened in there? You! This isn't over. Oh, no. Not by a long shot. <laughs> What are you doing in Seattle? I'm on my way up to Canada. What, business? Yeah, yeah, business. Well, what are you up to these days? Uh, you know me, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> How's Janet? She's good, Yeah, real good. And yeah. little Toby must be getting huge by now. Toby is actually getting chunky. Yeah. It's good to see you, Rick. Uh, it's good to see you too, counselor. <laughs> yeah. Who'd have ever thought I'd be a legal legal, huh? That's what you always wanted. Yeah, yeah, what's that? And from what I can see, you're a damn good one, too. Looks like a guy owes you his life. No, uh, not like that. Yeah, no, right. but to be honest, that was... That was well, that's fine. You be modest if you want to. I'll tell you what. Let's all get together for dinner, all right? Okay. I'm out of Chandler's Cove, Slip 29, and I got a big surprise for you. Okay. too. We're having lobster thermidor. No, I mean, I'm really impressed. Rick, she's a beauty. Ah, you ain't seen nothing yet. Where's Janet and Toby? Oh, there was a conflict. You know, she's the chief prosecutor now. Yeah, yeah. Mom told me about it. Talk about your successful couples. Oh, yeah. Don't you talk to me about success. 
And you said you had a big surprise. I had no idea it was going to be 70 some feet long. Rick, this must be over a million bucks. Uh, no, AJ, it's, uh, no, it's not. No, don't uh, tell me you got it for nothing. I know what these yachts go for. Rick, you sly devil. <laughs> I can't believe it. You come waltzing into the courtroom like the same old vagabond. And all the time, you're Mr. Prosperity. No, no, I'm not, AJ. Yeah. You're definitely no, getting look, the wrong it's idea. All right. If you no. want to try and play this down, that's okay. But, Rick, I could kick myself for doubting you all these years. And I am so proud of you. You know, I think, I think somewhere, deep down inside, I knew that somewhere, somehow, someday, you'd make something of your life instead of just wasting it on those penny ante jobs the way you used to. You, you know, wait till Janet hears about all this. She would have thought you'd be the swabby on this instead of the owner. Oh, Rick, Rick, I am so proud of you. Don't oh. waste all your hugs on him, good looking. Mom. Oh, Mom. <laughs> oh. Oh. What are you doing here? Crewing for your brother. Uh, what, you came all the way up from San Diego? Mm -hmm. uh, you bet she did. Mom's a hearty little shipmate. How on earth did you talk her into that? Well, you know, nobody talks me into anything. I just wanted to spend some time with my boys. Oh, you know. Tomorrow would have been mom and dad's golden wedding anniversary. You know, both of you wash up now. Dinner's almost ready. Yes, ma'am. Mom, AJ is uh, kind of under the impression that I own this boat. What? Shh. I will tell him the truth when the time is right, okay? But right now, I just don't want to burst his bubble. You know how he looks up to me. Since when? Just humor me, mom, okay? <gasps> has been tough, I see. Oh, well, now, there have been some thin times, too, I can tell you. Oh, yeah, I can definitely see that. <laughs> and to think, I used to berate you for not wanting to settle down. No, well, I never wanted that, that's for sure. Look at you, you're the one who's got everything. Uh, top of your career, wonderful marriage. I'm a lucky man. You all right? You okay, Mom? I'm perfectly fine. It's just that the air is getting a little thick in here. Oh, well, I'll open a port. Here, let no, me no, get... No, I, no, I'll take KP. You two have plenty to catch up on. AJ, look. Uh, no. Go ahead. No, no. You go ahead. Actually, it's uh, it's about mom. I'm, I'm a little worried. I mean, she's she's looking very tired. Well, I I didn't want to say anything, but I I am a little concerned. Why? What is it? Well, she. Hey Jane, I have gone over the ship signal flags with her at least half a dozen times. And she still gets her letters all mixed up. Well, you know, I mean, she's, she's getting up there in age. I knew that, but it took her a full day just to swap the decks. And nearly two to polish up all the chrome and scrub the heads. 